Welcome back to another reading vlog. This is going to be a weekend reading vlog. I have a long weekend. Today is Thursday and I have tomorrow off of work. So I'll just vlog all weekend. I am starting the Spanish Love Deception. I'm like 100 pages into it and freaking loving it. It's definitely a slow burn, but loving Aaron Blackford. And whenever I finish this, I'll probably start hearts. I'll start heart stopper. Sorry, that's a tongue twister. quick update before i take a shower and go to bed i made it to page 228 i stopped at chapter 16 dying this book is so good what the fuck i don't know why i'm whispering wow i have tabbed so much like please i am going to take a shower then go to bed and I'm so glad I took off work tomorrow because I just, I really need a long weekend. Last week I had like the worst week ever and I used the weekend to, like I used last weekend to recover, but like I didn't fully recover. <laughs> so I'm thinking like having a three day weekend will be good. Oh, and if you're not aware, this is a fake dating. I feel like everyone knows what this book is about, but it's workplace romance, fake dating, um, this guy that she like really doesn't, doesn't like or whatever, um, offers to be her date to a wedding and it's just so good that it's like a wedding in Spain. So they like travel together and no. It is so, so slow burn, but I die. I can't even tell you how many times I've underlined the most ridiculous things. Dying in love. Like I, this is the kind of slow burn, like Mario Zapata and the Spanish Love Deception. This is the kind of slow burn that I'm just like. Exactly. Also, I have this little bit left of things we never got over. Um, Let's see, I'm on page 470, so <laughs> I I do like this book. It's good. It's another slow burn, grumpy sunshine, um, small town romance. It's really, really cute, but it's just really long, and it's taking me forever to get through it. I don't know why. I just kept, like, putting it down. Anyway, I'm saying this to be held accountable so that I finish it this weekend. Anyway, so my camera is supposed, because I'm filming on my phone right now, that's why the quality is bad because my phone's like a 10 years old. Not really, but seriously. Anyway, so my camera is supposed to come tomorrow morning or like t it's supposed to come tomorrow. I'm so excited. Good night and I'll see you in the morning. This is the aftermath of last night. I have the twigs. The Cheetos are long gone. I'm not proud. So I have all the books that I want to read this weekend here in my hands. Um, I was originally planning on reading all four volumes of Heartstopper, and if I do that, great. But I'm going to aim for the first two. The show is only the first two volumes, so maybe I'll like read these two and then watch the show and then read the next two volumes. That sounds like a good plan.
this is me. <laughs> PJs, beanbag, <laughs> sit. Please, are you kidding me? Page 190. Oh. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just in love. Like, it's just so, it's just so good. Okay, okay, I'll shut up now. Wow, that's some really good lighting here. I'll just block it with Heartstopper. That's better. Truly a magnificent way to start my morning. This was perfect. I am gonna read a little bit of Spanish. Love deception. Or should I finish things we never got over? You know what? Let's do that. Let's finish this freaking book. Okay, you guys. So I'm on page 470. So I have like 90 pages to go. Let's finish it. Protein filled belly. Mm, ugh. Boom, boom, boom. There you go, I'm putting it on YouTube. I just finished this, uh, things we never got over. Literally 560 pages. It's small town romance, age gap, grumpy sunshine. I just think it was too long. I love the, the author's humor. I'm glad to finally freaking finish this because I've been reading it for like three weeks. So that's that. So now I'm going to reward myself with Spanish Love Deception. Okay, I have book mail, and I, the only books I've bought myself in the past couple days have been, like, book boxes, and this is a single book. I don't, I don't think that I bought this, so I think somebody sent me a book. So let's open it. Bad angle, that's what we're dealing with right now until I get my camera back. Somebody sent me Luna and the Lie by Mariana Zapata. Who? Who did this? Wait, no. Is there not a name? So I have the two receipts here, but I don't have um, like the receipt with the message or the name. So like who sent it to me? This book. Thank you so much. Who? Who are you? And why? Why do you treat me so well? Do you want to marry me? Like, let's get married. You just sent me a book. The investigation is underway. Hopefully, I'll find out soon and update you guys. Like, the lining is not great. <laughs> is this better? Okay. Is that better? Only thing I've noticed so far in the book is that it's very wordy. Like, our girl be saying things that she could be saying in, like, one sentence, but she be saying things in, like, a paragraph. But it's okay. Like, I'm still vibing with it, and I'm still liking it. Well, I'm loving it. Yeah, I'm, like, more than halfway through. I think I'll finish it today. Chapter 19, you guys. Hmm? Maybe, like, 4.5 so far. But I still have like a while to go. I'm on page 299 and there are like 440 pages. I still have quite a bit to go. So we've had some developments. One of them being found out who sent me this book is one of my subscribers. Thank you so, so much. I've already thanked them, but I just, you're literally the sweetest person ever, always sending me 
the sweetest messages. I just cannot thank you enough. You're so kind. I love you. And then another great miraculous thing happened. I got my camera back. It just arrived and I unboxed it. And I mean, it's not a new camera or anything. It was getting fixed and I need to take this little thing off. Um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sit down and film a sit down video. So I'm going to go do that. And so I don't know if I'll finish the Spanish Love Deception today because now it's four o'clock in the afternoon. So I'll probably film, edit a little bit, and then um, maybe like read some more Heart Supper. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. But I'm just so, today is just, I got a book and then I got my camera back and it's just a good Friday. That's all. Hello, happy Sunday. So it is now Sunday. I ended up finishing The Spanish Love Deception last night. My last book for April and I gave it five stars. Oh my God. The last 100 pages, literally, wow. It was everything. It made me cry. Aaron Blackford. Oh my God. This was so good. I am just extremely tabbed. Um, and I tab very sparingly. I'm not one to tab like every single thing. I tab when I like have to tab. If I come across something that I'm like, I have to tab this, I tab it. So there were a lot of moments like that. Um, this was just, this was so good. The last 100 pages, probably the best declarations I've ever read in a book. Like it was just so beautiful. Everything was just so beautifully said and I, 
I did end up crying at one of the declarations. I was just like, no. it, it got me. Today, I am going to go to Barnes & Noble. I'll bring you guys along with me. Um, maybe get some books. Definitely getting a coffee. I need a coffee. And get one of those TikTok drinks. It's like the white chocolate. It's iced white chocolate mocha with um, vanilla cold foam on top. And then like a little bit of caramel drizzle. I think that's the recipe. Friday night, whenever I got my camera in the mail, I didn't read it anymore. I just filmed my Grumpy Sunshine video, edited it, took a long time. So that took up like the rest of my Friday evening. And then Saturday, I just was like running errands and stuff like that. This book was just like also very comforting to me yesterday. I just, it was, very comforting. I'll see you guys at Barnes and Noble. Do you come here often? Do you come here often?
So I'm back from the mall in Barnes and Noble and I'll show you what I got. Well, first off, I got a bagel that I need to reheat and then eat that. <laughs> and then I got a coffee. I got this Pusheen um, swish thing just cause it's cute. And I can rest my book on it when I read. Yeah, I'm a huge stuffy connoisseur. It's so cute. That's from Barnes and Noble. And then super random, but I got this manga and anime like magazine kind of thing and then i got um all your perfects i've already read this and i loved it but i love this cover i have the old cover with the people on it and this one's like superior i picked it up i wasn't like gonna get it and then i felt how soft it was it's like a mat it's like super soft and i'm like you're coming home with me and then i got the roommate i I think that this is about a guy who is a filmmaker in the porn industry. They're like roommates, Josh and Clara. It's like a scandalous story, I don't know. I've heard people rave about it, so I thought that I would pick that up. Then I got Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. I already own this book. My friend Kay got it for me um, with the orange cover, but this cover is really cute, so I wanted to get this one as well. I don't mind having two copies because I feel like I'll love the book. So yeah, that's a close up of it. Super cute. I love illustrated covers. That's everything I got from Barnes & Noble. Uh, we had just gone to the mall for lunch and I had like a chicken bacon ranch wrap thing. And then I got some bubble tea, it was so good. And then with the bars and all I got. This is that TikTok drink. I swear I've drank more of this, but I added more ice to it. So it looks like I haven't barely had any. But like, I've been drinking this thing for like three hours. It's good. I'm going to continue my evening with Heartstopper. Probably watch some of the show. Oh my god, I cannot wait to watch the bowling alley scene in the show. This is so cute! When they put the menu up, oh my god! So if you made it this far, you can leave a sunshine emoji, like a sun emoji. I had a lot of fun vlogging this weekend. Um, it was a long weekend since I took PTO on Friday. But let me know if you like these vlogs. Um, they're really fun. Oh my god, my dogs look so cute right now. The way that they're laying. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later in my next video.